<laughs> All right, so I got three pounds here ish. Three pounds ish. Speaking of toy. Huh? Thank you. All right, so three pounds. Why three pounds? I don't know. I just like throwing three pounds. Mm -hmm. Those glasses are going to get real dirty right there. Oh, here we are. Thank you. Um, all right, so this is really soft clay, so I don't know how much you get out of it. But... Is it grog? What? You get grog? I didn't add any sand to this one. It's just for plain. Is porcelain or white stone? No, it's porcelain. So when you add sand, I mean, it's up that way, to your porcelain, what do you... Uh, is it, or... So, I do it for soda firing. Ah. Uh, yeah. So if I want to bring this up taller, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use kind of like the base of my pinky here, one pushing forward, one pulling back. And I can keep my thumbs up on the clay. And if I have that thumb right there on the top of the clay, I don't know if you can see it right there, that'll keep it from swinging around on you. All right. I'm gonna push this forward and pull back. So I put, I'm pushing down a little bit with my thumb there. I'm gonna pull back in the middle. We wanna keep it from going off center as you push it down. You can bring up a really nice tall cone and push down without it going off center. You have a better chance of it going up into a nice tall cylinder. I don't know if that's uh, just a superstition or if it's just like a mental thing or if there is actually anything technical behind it, but I found that you push it down, it goes all wobbly and wonky and starts doing the hula hoop on the way down. Then when you try to pull your cylinder up, it's also gonna start doing the hula hoop on the way up. All right, so I'm gonna keep it kind of compact and narrow make a bottle so don't want it to be too wide I guess I could make a wide footed bottle <coughs> push the hole down so I have my left hand pushing on my right hand as I go down it's not a ton of clay so I can still use my right hand to push down I'll switch it up if it's more clay all right well, I can go down just a hair more before I start opening it up I like to keep the clay lubricated, but I don't like to have a puddle. All right, so I'm gonna start at the bottom, I'm gonna open it up, I'm kind of curl my fingers back as I open it. Compress the floor, and I didn't open it super duper wide. This isn't a very large amount of clay, so I wanna keep the foot kind of narrow. feels a little thick to me. So that's still maybe a little bit thick. Now, I guess the question is, should I leave it thick and then trim it next time? Which might actually be, your stuff is in the closet in there. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And by the closet, I mean by the front, the sheet. <laughs> Got her shelf cleared. Hmm? <laughs> All right, I'm going to make my volcano. I'm going to bring it really tall. Is that place still in business? Yes. Man, I thought they got shut down. No, just had a friend. They should be. Just had a friend well, yeah, visit them. Okay. The pirates. Oh, yeah. Right, the pirates are Lincoln Park. Yeah. That song has got to be 50 years old. Yeah. Oh, really? still in business. Oh, oh wow. You, I think everything else is going out All right, of business. So, so, still up. Right. Oh, wow. So you can see that as I brought up this volcano, it has a really yeah. narrow top, and it's a little bit wiggly on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compress the top. I'm going to hold onto it with this hand. I'm going to take, I can either grab onto it with my thumb, or I can go in almost like I'm compressing the rim and just wow. press down. Wait, so this, this hand is stabilizing, hand? and then the clay is kind of going just between my fingers here and I recenter the top and that's going to be really important later okay if the top is off center if it's wiggly and wobbly when you try to make a um, a bottle it's going to be a little bit more difficult 
And are you going to want to leave more at the top than you would normally? No, I, I don't want to leave extra at the top okay. for a bottle. Okay. I'm going to make this hole a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to support here, turn my hand into a cone. I press down <laughs> in play. So I'm always, I'm always supporting with both hands, right? So I have this one supporting this hand as I go in there. I don't just go in with one hand. Quite noisy in the other room. All right. Um, so I have a really deep undercut on the inside. So I'm going to pull this up. You can see itself taper to kind of thin at the top. Um, and that's sort of by design. If I was doing a different form, I might not leave it quite so thin at the top. Like if I was doing a pitcher, I might leave, I might not make it like that at the top. The reason I'm making it like that at the top is so that as I'm pulling it, I don't have to pull through a thick chunk of clay once I've made this really thin. If this is thin and I'm trying to pull through a thick chunk of clay at the top, I'm just gonna collapse the cylinder, right? So um, I'm gonna grab on. I don't, I'm not able to connect my hands, so I'm just gonna tuck my thumb in. This is pulling back, this is pushing forward. I'm gonna grab on, we're gonna lift this up. When my finger on the inside, my thumb on the inside can connect, I will. Okay, and I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna pull all the way to the rim. Okay, with a pitcher, I'm gonna leave, you know, I might stop an inch below, like three quarters of an inch below. But with, with this, I wanna pull through, I wanna make it nice and even and thin. Not super duper thin, it's maybe a quarter of an inch. But it's thin, like it's the same, same thickness, quarter inch from here to here, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, so it starts tapering thicker down there. So I pull the top of the cylinder on the first pull, I pull the top of the cylinder, the thickness that it's supposed to be at the end. Oh because I don't want to have to pull through it when I'm trying to make this part thin, because that's just gonna make everything collapse. All right, so I'll get some water on the clay here. You can see it's pretty thin by that mark that my, my thumb knuckle made there. It's gonna be a, make a pretty exaggerated groove at the bottom there. Make sure my clay is well lubricated. Now I'm gonna pull up. This bump, that's my inside finger. If I don't have a bump, I'm not moving any clay. As I pull, I keep my right arm next to my body. I move my upper body over the clay, and you can see that groove disappear as I get to the top because I don't need to move any clay. Whoa. Okay? Yeah. I'm just I'm adjusting my inside pressure as I go up. The outside hand creates the shape. The inside hand makes it like determines the thickness. Yep. If you want. So. Ten inch, right? It's ten and a half. Yeah. Ten, ten and a half. Wow. How much water do you have in the bottom? Inside? Uh, right now, there's quite a bit, and I'll get rid of that before I make it a bottle. Okay. Not gonna worry about it right now. All right, one more pull. So all the thickness is down here now. Like this, from about here up, is the right thickness. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull up that bottom little bit there. I have to be really aware of what my for my left forearm is doing. You feel a little spiral? Yeah, that's I, yeah. What happens to then? me is nothing to him. It means everything to us. Where did that ruler go? Let's see how 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 I, how I did here. What happens to the spiral? What's that? That was a challenge. The it, spiral? Yes. It's there. It'll, it'll, get, it'll go away. It will. That's the 12 inch, yes. three, three pounds, 12 inch challenge right there. Oh. <laughs> well. So now I'm going to get rid of the water. It's I don't really want to show important. off. I'm out. <laughs> it's really important that you remember to get rid of the water. And I'm going to do it before I smooth everything out. Um, there might be a little bit more water that drips in there a little bit later as I'm trying to um, yeah. compress the walls. Do you want the sponge on a stick? Um, no. Okay. If, it's, if, it, if I can get my hand in there, I'm just, what's that? He's a pro. He doesn't need, he doesn't need that kind of assistance. Yeah. Um, if I can get my hand in there, I'm not going to worry about the sponge on the stick. I just have to be aware of my, where my elbow is. I want to make sure it's right over the, the, the center of the clay. So I'm going to get rid of that little bit of excess clay there. So that's all I really need to trim. Um, I might need to do a little bit of trimming later. Uh oh, I forgot my... 
My metal rib. My metal rib. Big one, little one. Little one. Okay. Lots of little ones. He's got it. Yeah, I've got it. Thank you. Okay, we'll compress first. I'm not going to worry about. I don't want to shape it. If I get a little bit of shape in it, I'm not going to worry too much. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some uncompressed clay at the top right there okay so i don't compress through that because i want to be able to bring it in if i compress it it's going to be a little bit more difficult mm. it might not matter but i feel like it's it, it tightens the clay a little bit so it, it makes it just that much more difficult and i don't want it to be difficult when i bring that in so now i'm going to go down You can see my body is moving back, my elbow is moving to be over the center of the clay. Okay, now I'm going to start shaping it. Um, what shape am I going to make? That is still a question that I'm trying to figure out. All right. It's actually a little bit wide. Okay, I'm bring this in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to support down at the bottom and I'm going to push this in just a little bit. I just want to narrow that foot just a little bit. I might narrow it even a little bit more before I make it a bottle. Right. By pushing it in, I need to make sure that I support, support the inside of the clay. Um, otherwise, I'm going to sort of make, a, kind of like cause a stress that might cause a crack on the inside. All right, so now I'm going to bring this up, the shape up a little bit at a time. Um, let's stop about there. Now, how much shape do I want to put in this? So I want to pull in skinny. I want to bring the shape out a bit. I guess I could do one of those onion onion bottle shapes again. Yeah, what the heck? We'll do kind of an onion bottle shape. So kind of pushing this shoulder out just a little bit there. Um, I, I don't, because the, the, the neck is going to be really skinny, I don't need to leave a ton of clay here. So again, we'll start back down at the bottom. Start bringing the shape up. If you pay attention right here, You'll see a little shadow. That's my pinky dragging on the clay, and that kind of helps keep it from collapsing. And I don't always have my pinky dragging on the clay. Sometimes I don't need it. Sometimes it's not my pinky. Sometimes it's actually my ring finger, like right now. Create that shoulder. I'm not worried about the shape being perfect right now. chatter here. Hands kind of dragging on the clay a little bit. Inside. Inside. Yeah. So we'll do I'm just going to wet this interior rim here. Try not to drip any water in there, but we'll just wet this interior rim. I'll wet my hand. I'm going to get a different rib. I got the Blue bowl rib. Oh, gotta shoot, make sure that you don't stick it in the wall. <laughs> oh, I've right done there. that. No, it was right here that nicked. Mm -hmm. oh, shoot. He'll save you. I know. There's going to be a little dimple on the side wall. It'll be all right. Nice. Where I took a little chunk out on the inside. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm I'm holding on to this rib with my fingertips right now basically okay I don't know if you can see it kind of wants to collapse right there mm -hmm. I'm dragging my pinky so it doesn't come on you stop it So 
I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna kind of compress that area right there. This is really soft clay, so I'm being like really, really sensitive to how the clay is moving. Quick question. Uh -huh. Would you say that your clay is, is, it looks like it's this thin? It's very thin. Yeah. So is, it's, is I it wouldn't say it's, it's not that thin. But it's close it's to this thin, thin in case anyone. Yeah. Wow. Like that's what I feel. You can, you can see every, can cut every apart, shadow yeah. of. Can you, can you cut it apart? No. No, don't. You'll cry. I mean, he's done. You can make another one after this one. We're not looking and cut that one apart. That's the part. How do you? How do you try uh, right to wrap there. that? What do you do? I'm guessing he puts pressure on both sides. Is it yeah, equal I'm spreading pressure? My, I'm spreading my fingers out and I'm putting yeah. kind of pressure just in one spot. So you're just holding pretty, pretty firmly on uh -huh. the inside and then pushing against it with the rib. Not holding firmly at all. I'm barely touching You're just touching barely it. touching on this. Okay, and, and the rib is doing all the work. Mm-hmm. No. I'm just barely touching it too. Got it out of there. No, did there. you say how much clay? Three, three, three pounds. 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 Is that whole twelve inches high? Yeah. Uh huh. Itself, I'm gonna do the 12 pound three inch. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. All right. At this point, I just did it. Maybe we'll eat. So this is my sponge on a stick. It's just my throwing stick with a sponge kind of stuck on there. Um, at this point, this is where you need to get the water out of the bottom. If you have any water in there. Sure, last um, chance. I have a drip in there, so I decided to get it out. All right. Let's see if I can do this without collapsing it. It's pretty thin. It's pretty, uh... Don't make the onion, just make a, a, another. Just make a bottle? Yeah. Yeah, just, All right. yeah. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my fingers are totally spaced out. Like, evenly spaced out. Okay, I don't have my thumbs together, I don't have my index fingers together, I want them evenly spaced. Each of these points should be evenly spaced, and when I squeeze them in, they sort of become almost like a camera aperture. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Okay. If they're not evenly spaced, that's where you get the collapse. So only four points touching or more? Six oh, points three. are touching. So it's, Okay, so, it's so what six, I'm gonna okay. do is I'm gonna squeeze in, I'm gonna follow the shoulder, I'm gonna squeeze in, and then when, I, when the clay kinda doesn't wanna go in anymore, I'm gonna lift my fingers like this, I'm gonna pull straight towards my face. I'm gonna follow the shoulder. I'm gonna lift my fingers and lift up. Oops. Yikes. That ripple, ripple would be good. I have a smaller one of these. Okay. Oh, yeah, I do. Here, smaller. Mm -hmm. right, perfect. Mm, I don't want a sponge. Oh, want... oh you don't want a sponge. Mm, okay. I don't see one. Did you say, does I, do I have one? Because I don't uh, see one. Here, here, wait, here, look. This one? Yeah. All right. Oh. Uh, so we're going here. Emily won. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, this is a good day. <laughs> I still can't believe that he made two tools out of one. Okay, so I'm just being really sensitive to that clay. Like yeah. if I could, what I could do is I could take my torch and heat up the neck, mm -hmm. the shoulder. Would you like your torch? No, that's okay. I don't want to wait for it. Kathleen would like you to use your torch. So now that ripple, that ripple is going to be a problem later. So we're just yeah. going to get rid of that. Oops. I didn't drop it inside. 
<laughs> no, I thought I saw it go down. It went on my wheel. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're thinking it. It's continuing to. Mm -hmm. To what? Mm -hmm. Torque. Uh, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to squeeze this in a little bit here. See if I can do this without. So it buckles because it's soft? It's Yeah, it's very soft. And thin. So again, I'm going to make my hand like these, this three point. And it's, three. you make an L like that with your thumb and your index finger. And you rotate it up and kind of curl your, these two fingers. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to create the shoulder. And I'm going to make the onion bottle because I didn't leave myself enough for just a regular bottle. You squeeze. And you lift. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot another tool. Uh, dowel. So this is like a, a paintbrush that got left in the water a little bit too long, and all the paint and the, the tip fell off, but it's kind of a nice tapered yeah, yeah. dowel. Mm, nice. So the way that I use the dowel, this is how I make um, spouts for teapots as well is I'm going to take the dowel and get it wet. Get my bottleneck wet here. Okay, I'm going to take my dowel and hold it. I'm actually holding it with my right hand. So normally I would pull on this side, but I'm going to hold it with my right hand. I'm going to pull the clay back towards my left thumb here. I can get in. I yeah. I can I can get into you know tighter areas without worrying about it um, closing in on the tip of my my thing. I just like the taper. I don't know. Is there an advantage? Maybe. Uh oh, just a little wiggle, little wiggle there. And just for fun, we're actually gonna go downward too. So you're at the six o'clock when you're going with the cell, right? Sort of. Yeah, my thumb on the left hand is is pushing right at six o'clock. Okay. Thanks. I don't know why I do it this way. I probably could, you know, you hold it really tight with that and use my my right index finger yeah, or something like that. But I just found that that's more comfortable. That's how I make my teapot spouts too. So. All right, to compress that interior, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll up my chamois, stick it in there, and then just kind of fold it, fold the loose end over. Final taper here. So there's a lot of different shape bottles that I make. This is one of them. Um, one of the shapes that I make, I don't, I'll, I'll leave a little bit more in the neck instead of continuously bringing it up and in. I'll just kind of like on the last one, I'll just kind of bring it up and out like that. So d d depending on the direction that you want that spout to go, like if you want it to go up, you squeeze in and you lift your fingers like this. If you want it to go out, you squeeze in and then you just, you just kind of go like that. You have to think about the direction that you want that to go. And then now it's basically just fiddling around with this transition. I'm actually a little bit surprised that I was able to save that after I wanted to collapse when I was doing the uh, initial shaping. So that's that's pretty much it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.